In this video, we're going to have an unboxing. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, I'm going to tell you about our great sponsor, Leaf. Whether you're looking for the Leaf Razor, the Twig, the Thorn, check them out at Leaf Shave. And if you do, use discount code IMCDB and save 5%. And thanks so much, Leaf, for sponsoring the channel. All right, let's get to the unboxing. This box came from Sweden the other day, courtesy of Shave and Butcher. Johan from Shave and Butcher, and I have no idea what this is. I cut the side open, but I have not taken out the wares. And this could be tricky, because you know Johan is a jokester. And by the way, the unboxing knife for today is the CVV Baby Banter, which I like a lot, so let's cut this, whatever this is, open, and see what we have here from Johan. It's probably a Mitchell's Wolf ad or something like that. There's no telling with Johan. He's a funny guy. So if you haven't checked him out, check him out at Shave and Butcher. Very funny guy. Makes excellent videos, and I miss watching them because I haven't had time to watch very many videos lately. Almost zero. Okay. Oh, okay. It's not Mitchell's Wolfpack. Thank you, Johan. Um, so the first one is, I don't know what this is. Very interesting. Uh, it's in this little container right here, which is pretty cool. What is that? Uh... Wow, oh, it's a safety razor. Very, very cool. Wow, look, look at this. So the head is right here. I don't know what this is, but this looks very cool. Uh, swing on the base plate there. And it's, this is kind of a very super cool travel case. I've never seen this one before. I don't think, then again, I'm not a razor historian. So, I, you know, I haven't been exposed to everything. I've been <laughs> exposed to a lot. So let's check this out. Put the head on here, on the handle. That is cool, I'm presuming this is vintage. I really like the way this razor um, puts fits in the case, I should say. That is super cool little travel razor, and it comes in here, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you so much, Johan. I've never seen this one before, but I've never looked for it. Um, awesome, awesome, thank you, Johan. This is really cool, uh, uh, wow. And this is Swedish as well. It's got a, uh, right there it says Swedish uh, patent. So this is really awesome. Thank you so much, Johan. That, that really means a lot. And there is a soap here. This is, and I'm gonna pronounce this badly. What is that, Grown or Gron? I don't know, you know I can barely speak English. And it's in our customary uh, Jank Tan, which is, <laughs> you see a lot of that in Europe, but let's give it a smell. This is tobacco and bay leaf. Smells nice, smells very nice indeed. This tin right here is pretty robust, I gotta say, I don't see any dents. That's pretty good. <laughs> this must be a higher quality uh, tin. So thank you very much, Johan, for this. This smells great, and I bet this is hard So Very hard, this is gonna be a good value almost assuredly. So we look forward to using this when time permits. This is grown, or grun, or something like that. <laughs> Sorry about butchering the name. Tobacco and bay leaf, it smells fantastic. So thank you so much, Johan. Super cool razor and super cool soap. And look, folks, if you're watching at home, kids, no uh, no dents. How did that happen all the way from Sweden? I guess Johan is proving a point here in that you can ship it without getting dented. So well done, uh, Johan, on that. All right, the next box, I made an order from uh, the razor company. And let's set that aside and make sure we don't drop that tin because it will dent if I drop it almost assuredly on the tile floor here, or wood floor. And let's see what we have. Oh, peanuts. I hate peanuts in my boxes. But, uh, this is a crown and crane soap. And you know I love crown and crane. And even though uh, crown and crane did have to increase price a little bit, it is still reasonable, folks. It's still very reasonable. And this one, I don't know how to pronounce. What is it? I, Panema, I have no idea. She has some of the names that are, you know, kind of exotic, at least to me. My, you know, sort of pea brain struggles to pronounce some of them, but that's okay. And remember, when you get these, they have a little plastic wrapping over them. And let's smell this one and see, see what it smells like. Beautiful. Ooh, that is great. Beautiful. I don't know how to describe this. Sweet. Definitely sweet. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Another ringer from Crown and Crane. Folks, if you haven't tried Crown and Crane, give them a shot. 
The price is still great even after the increase and I'm all about that. If your increase is reasonable and your price is still great on these soaps like Crown and Crane, I'm with it. I'm with it. It's only the others that are not. Um, the other soap is also Crown and Crane and this is Dream Sickle. So let's give this one a look and see what we're working with here. And again, you have to take this plastic covering off, which is uh, easy this time. It's not always easy for me during unboxing. So dream sickle, and I expect that to smell like a dream sickle. Let's give it a whiff, Let's see what it smells like. Oh, that one is also nice. Yeah, definitely gives you the sweet. I definitely get some vanilla. If you've ever had a dream sickle or cream sickle, that's that's what you get from this. Both of those are absolute winners. Once again, Crown and Crane uh, doing it in grand fashion. And thank you so much, uh, Johan, for sending this super cool razor and soap. I really appreciate it. It's been a rough time, and I got to tell you, I thank you so much. And thanks to all of you who still uh, remain here throughout these difficult times. And I hope everything is going well with your families. And remember right now, take care of the artisans and vendors that are taking care of you like Crown and Crane, for example, still very, very reasonable. So give them a look if you would. And if you get something from the razor company, use uh, IMCDB and that will help the channel if you do. Thank you so much. Remember, take care of those artisans and vendors that are taking care of you. Until next time, God bless.